Hi, welcome to OpenJS World. I'm Robin Ginn, the Executive Director of the OpenJS Foundation, coming to you from my home in Washington State. We're just really excited to have you join us from all over the world. We have a great week ahead. Um, but before we get started, I'd like to give a thank you to all of our sponsors for supporting us and a special shout out to our diamond sponsor, IBM. Um, also, a quick reminder about our event code of conduct. Uh, essentially, everyone who participates this week should feel welcome and included, even virtually. So if you have any issues or if you, if you witness anything, please give our uh, a team a shout at openjsevents at linuxfoundation.org or a DM on Twitter at openjsf. You know, this week is a special one. Five full days of JavaScript. The community is coming together through Collab Summit and the conference to discuss the past, the present, and the future, 25 years since it was created. But it's, you know, also today, it's really a historic time. We're living through a global pandemic that's uh, really impacting many of those that we love, and it's made us all uh, change the way that we uh, go about our daily lives. Um, and it's also a time that I believe is just long overdue where the fight for equality and justice is finally being recognized and heard. You know, I am optimistic that things will change and get better, but I am optimistic without um, ignoring the experiences and the realities of underrepresented communities today. Um, there's still so much to learn and actions to take to overcome bias. So, you know, this week, I hope that OpenJS is a place that you'll find a tech home and a sense of community uh, where you can think about, you know, how can I make history with technology, not only in what you build, but in how you build with others through open source. Ah, the 90s. For me, growing up in Seattle, it was a decade of grunge music. It was also a banner year for the tech industry. Larry met Sergey at Stanford, where they created a web crawler project that later became Google. Amazon shipped its first book, which interesting enough was on the topic of computer modeling, and Microsoft launched Windows 95 and Internet Explorer, leading to fierce competition in the browser space. And the news that also hit that year was the birth of JavaScript. In 1995, JavaScript and Sun announced the creation of JavaScript, an open source cross-platform language for enterprise networks and the internet. And we are really fortunate to have Ellen Worf Sprock here this week to share more about its history. So today, you know, JavaScript is now the top ranked programming language in the world. And you know, many people are surprised to learn that over 96% of the world's websites depend on JavaScript. So most people are using JavaScript whether they know it or not. And today, the OpenJS Foundation is here to be the home and neutral home to grow the JavaScript and web ecosystem. Uh, if you didn't know, we were created by the merger of the Node.js and the JS foundations about a year ago. And I like to say that we're new, but we've taken the best of both worlds and adopted what works. Um, so, you know, we just knew and know that working together in an independent foundation, we can work together to keep JavaScript safe and modern. And we do this a number of ways. Um, and our, really our goal is to really promote the adoption and continued development of key technologies. And we do this through open governance. And I'll explain a little bit about how that comes together and how all of you can get involved. But first, let me give you a quick overview of our projects. Uh, the OpenJS Foundation hosts over 30 important open source JavaScript projects including Appium, Dojo, jQuery, Node.js, and Webpack. And wow, they are so busy all of the time, and I wish I could just share all of this, all of the great highlights, but you know, we had WebDriver shipping v6, Dojo shipping v7, Node.js shipping v14. Uh, gosh, we launched a Node.js training and certification program in partnership with NodeSource and Nearform. Uh, man, and these certifications, they've just really been a great way for developers to showcase their talent and for companies to find great talent in the job market. Um, and my list can go on and on, but you know, you're in luck because many of these community leaders are here this week and they're gonna be sharing many more highlights uh, throughout the week. So we have new projects at OpenJS and new projects start as incubation projects. 
And what they do is go through an onboarding checklist to ready themselves to join the foundation. And we have welcomed some pretty awesome incubation projects since we opened our doors last year, including AMP, Electron, Fastify, and NVM. Uh, we have a couple of project uh, leaders keynoting today to share some news. And truly, our foundation could not survive without our members. Members like Google, IBM, Joyent, Microsoft, GoDaddy, and more, they really make it happen by not only providing the financial support to fund our programs, but playing an active uh, role in the governance process. So, you know, if you rely on our JavaScript projects, we would love to have your company join as a member. We have so many growing needs to expand our programs and support the infrastructure for many of the projects that you all rely on. So, what is open governance? You know, I like to say open governance is kind of like a manual for how projects operate and how decisions are made, but all in a clear and transparent way. And this open governance, it really creates this positive place for collaboration by setting a little structure and accountability in the process. And at the OpenJS Foundation, since we are an umbrella organization, a, a big goal of ours was to create a governance model designed to give a strong voice to our projects. So, uh, for example, each project has its own technical steering committee and a variety of business and community working teams to really manage their projects. Um, and then at the board uh, or at the foundation level, we have our board of directors who sets our vision and direction, our cross pro project council, which is like a centralized um, technical advisory and moderation team. And we have our staff that provides a number of functions from um, marketing, legal, and events like you'll see this week. Um, and so really we want all of our projects to operate uh, independently while at the same time, sort of at that foundation level, we can kind of remove some of that friction to allow you to work more quickly um, and work more quickly with the community and code. And um, so one other cool thing is most of our meetings at OpenJS are broadcast live on YouTube and then documented on GitHub. And you're enjoy invited to join. So you could simply uh, just tune in as an observer or you can just jump right in and share your ideas and, and input. And if the time doesn't work for you, you can go to our YouTube channel and check it out and go to GitHub and check out our notes. So lots of ways for you to get involved. Go to our collaboration page on uh, openjs.org and you can add our meetings to your calendar. So a lot of people ask us, like, just why don't you just put your projects on GitHub and call it a day? So, you know, we, we know that neutrality is important. Um, so whenever a piece of technology is so important, um, you don't want one company to control that. So moving a piece of technology to a foundation is sort of a, a way to ensure that um, the future direction of the project is really developed in a community way. So just take a look at how some of the uh, foundations today have supported key technologies over time, including Linux, Eclipse, and .NET. So if you, know, you really want to build a truly neutral organization and maybe offload some of that non-development aspects of running a project, the OpenJS Foundation is really the place to be because you know, everything we do supports this. So again, we have a great week. You'll have the opportunity to, to engage with inspiring speakers who have simply been in, unstoppable in reaching their dreams. Uh, so again, we invite you to join us, not just today, but throughout the year, because uh, now is really the right place and the right time to make history. Happy anniversary, JavaScript. And one more thing, I'd like to now introduce our OpenJS Foundation Board President, Todd Moore. Todd is the Vice President of Technology and Developer Advocacy at IBM. Todd.